Hello, my name is David, and this is a response to a reading called Gay New York by George Chauncey. Um, as a as a gay man, um, I found it really interesting because, well, learning about how they treated gay people at the time is, of course, it's going to be interesting. Um... It talks about gay males from the 1890s to the 1940s. Um, I think it mainly focuses on, um, I guess, drag queens. <laughs> and um, it mentions some of the more um, wealthy gay men and how they would... Um, and just how, how they would entertain themselves at the time um it also talked a lot about how a lot of straight people how uh, like upper class straight people would go down to these poor neighborhoods and go all go into these like gay clubs and just entertain themselves um I found I found it all really interesting. It was a very interesting read. I would recommend it. Um, it is kind of old, so it refers to a lot of them as fairies, but it's it's still a good read. Um, it's definitely interesting how people have changed from that point to now. Um, considering they no longer consider gay people as purely entertainment, um, something more than just entertainment, like actual people. <laughs> um, but it, it's definitely, um, I'm sorry, I lost my train of thought. It's definitely interesting how they talked about, um, gay people at the time. Um, I'm going to read a quote, <laughs> um, it's about, I think it was, I forget the person, or at least I can't find the person, but someone is talking about, I believe it was a club called The Slide, um, and it says, one of, it, it refers to it as one of the most vile, vulgar resorts in the city where no man of decent inclinations would remain for five minutes without being nauseated. Here, men of de uh, degenerate type were the waiters, some of them going to the extent of roughing their necks. In falsetto voices, they sang filthy ditties, and when not otherwise busy, would drop into a chair at the table of any visitor who would book their awful presence. Um, sounds fun, doesn't it? Okay, um... But it's interesting how they refer to us as degenerate types. I laugh at it now because it's not as much of a problem as it was at that time. Like, we can get married now. Um, in a large majority of places, we have just as many rights as straight people do. But... There are still a lot of places where you can get fired just for being gay or transgendered or just part of the community. And it's kind of, it. no, it's not kind of annoying. It's really annoying. Like, I'm lucky enough to live in New York where they're, like, super accepting of it. But if I were to move into, like, middle America where they're all, like... Oh, marriage is a sacred bond between a man and a woman. It's, it's, I wouldn't be able to get a job there. I wouldn't be able to survive there because of who I love. Just let that settle in for who I love. But, um, I mean, I'm lucky enough to live here where I don't have to worry about that. Um... I'm lucky enough to have a family that's accepting, considering a large majority of LGBT people end up homeless because their parents don't accept them and kick them out of the house to just fend for themselves. 
Um, but even with all of the cruelness happening in the community, um, there is still, it's still better than it was then, where they basically considered us a joke, like purely entertainment. Um, I think that's about it. <laughs> Uh, once again, my name is David, and that was a response to Gay New York by George Shotzi.